Hi everyone, welcome to our second video for the month of June. We're talking about summer loving and this I want to talk about, it's kind of a hodgepodge of things, um, just different challenges that you may face due to just seasonal kind of things that come up. So the first thing I want to talk about is your sleep routine. So it's really important to have some kind of routine for when you go to bed, help your body kind of wind down. And normally when you're, uh, especially if you have kids in the fall and the school, like there's a routine set in place and things just kind of fall into place. And then when they're out of school and summer hits, you've got that beach fever or whatever it is, it just seems like our schedules get a little out of whack. So there are things that you can do if your sleep schedule seems to be a little bit off and you need to help your body kind of calm down for the evening. So I have a few oils, essential oils that I love to grab. Cedarwood and lavender are probably my top two for calming and winding down. We put them in our diffusers. Sometimes I'll add them to an Epsom salt bath. Sometimes I will put them directly on my girls. There's also a calming blend of a bunch of different oils that I use um, that just helps to calm them down um, for bedtime and for evening because they are very energetic. Uh, so sometimes if we're not in our normal routine, we need some extra calm in our life. Um, I want to encourage you, even in the summer months, to have some kind of bedtime routine, whether that's doing a bath or reading a story or, um, I don't know, singing songs together as a family, something that kind of cues your body into it's time to get ready for bed and that... Um, kind of signaling subconsciously your body knows what's happening and it's very predictable your body likes patterns and it likes repetition so if you're doing uh, these things over and over again it's gonna start to click with your body and it's gonna say oh okay it's time for bed time to wind down time to relax you can also take different sleep supplements there are people who take melatonin um, there's other things that you can take different teas there's like sleepy time tea there's lots of different things that you can do and ways that you can tackle that. I just want you to be mindful that when seasons change and times change and lifestyle things change, that sometimes your sleep can be affected and sleep is super important. I actually just finished listening to a book called Redeeming Your Time by Jordan Rayner and he was talking about all the things that um, sleep does for us and it's recommended that we get eight hours of sleep a night. So definitely something that I need to work on. So make sure that you're paying attention to your sleep and um, your body and just giving it clues and cues that it is time to wind down. The second thing I wanna talk about is being outside because when it's summertime, a lot of times we spend so much more time outside. I love soaking up all the vitamin D and the sunshine uh, and just being outside in general with my kids especially, but being outside sometimes can pose some challenges. So the first thing is bug spray. You wanna think about what kind of bug spray you're using and make sure that it's not loaded with toxins because a lot of the bug sprays on the market are unfortunately filled with ingredients that are bad for you. Yes, they keep bugs off, which is amazing, but you also don't want to spray or rub all of that stuff on your skin because remember your skin is the largest organ and it absorbs all the ingredients. So you want to make sure that your bug spray is toxin free. I have some that I have made and I have some that I've bought that I absolutely love. So if you want some information, you can just put bug spray in the comments and I can hook you up. Another thing you want to look out for, if you're gonna be spending an extended period of time outside, you want to think about sunscreen. Now sunscreen is one of the cosmetic ingredient, I guess you call it cosmetic, I don't know. One of the products that you would find in that area of the store that is sadly most of the time loaded with lots of nasty ingredients. Some of the ingredients have been linked to cancer. So here you are putting sunscreen on trying to prevent skin cancer and some of the ingredients are carcinogens. So it's kind of a difficult um, thing to maneuver if you're not certain about certain ingredients, if you're not sure. Sunscreen is something that you should be wearing if you're gonna be outside for an extended period of time. I don't always put sunscreen on. I know some people 
think that they need to put that on and that's fine. I just don't, I only do it when we're gonna be out for hours at a time. So make sure your sunscreen has good ingredients and it is toxin free because again, you're rubbing it on your skin that's gonna be on your skin for a very long time and your skin's gonna be absorbing all the ingredients. You wanna also make sure that you are moisturizing your skin. I know I forget about this. In the winter time, I'm really good about moisturizing because my skin's so dry, but in the summertime, it's important too that you're moisturizing your skin. It's great to have some kind of routine. Just like I talked about with the sleep routines, it's nice to have a routine for your face, especially in the summer. We're outside, the sun's beating down, um, the temperature, it's hotter, we're sweating. There's lots of things going on that can affect your complexion and your face. Um, so make sure that you have some kind of routine. You should be cleansing your face, and I'm not real great about this. You should be cleansing your face and moisturizing your face at least once a day. You're probably supposed to do it twice a day. I'm lucky if I do it four times a week. Um, you wanna make sure though that you are making an effort to take care of your face because it does kind of take a beating in the summer months, just being outside and kind of the wear and tear of that. If you're using essential oils, I did want to mention that there are some that we call photosensitive. So that means um, they amplify the effects of the sun's rays. If you are going outside, you should not put a citrus oil on your skin that's going to be in direct sunlight. So like don't put it on your face or like right here unless you're wearing a turtleneck, something that's covered. So you wanna put it on a part that's gonna be covered by clothing or you can put it on like the night before so that way it has all night to soak into your skin and be absorbed and metabolized. You don't want to rub a whole bunch of citrus oils on your face and go sit outside. It's just gonna not be pretty. It can amplify the sun's UV rays and it can cause some irritation and just not, not happy things. So photosensitive oils. If you're using a blend, make sure that you're looking at all of the oils that are in that blend to make sure that there's no citrus in there because that can also be photosensitive. The third thing I want to talk about is more free time, right? If you, especially if you have kids in the summertime, if you um, don't, some people school all year, um, but even, I think even people who school all year take kind of a break in the summer. Maybe it's not as intense as during the year. I don't know. We take a summer break. If your kids are in public school or private school and there's a break, a lot of times in the summer, it's just so much more relaxed and you have all this extra free time. So that can be good and bad, right? Uh, my kids love to read books, which I am so grateful for. Um, if you find that you're reading a lot, you can try to put carrot oil around your eyes just to help support them. Carrot oil is really good, just like carrots. Eating carrots are good for your eyes. Carrot oil is good. You just wanna make sure that you're putting it around and that you're not getting it in your eye. If you do get an oil in your eye, you wanna flush it with uh, milk or like a carrier oil, like olive oil. You do not want to put water in your eye to flush it because oil and water don't mix. You'll just spread it out and make it worse. So something that's going to be a fatty oil like milk or olive oil if it gets into your eyes, but just make sure you're going around. And when I put these, uh, if I put this on my kids, I'll dilute it just in case they like rub it in their eye so it's not as intense as it could be. So carrot oil is great for your eyes, especially if you have lots of book readers in your family. I like to put citrus oils in the diffuser just because it makes me happy and they are great for boosting your mood. Sometimes we get kind of the summer blues and we see all these um, things that we wanna do and we can't do everything in one day. So sometimes we need some emotional support. Uh, you can try doing a toy rotation. If your kids are getting tired of their toys, you pack up part of their toys and you put it in the attic or in the garage or some other room under your bed, wherever you're hiding it where they don't see it for maybe a week or a couple weeks at a time. And then you switch out the toys so it's kind of like a fresh batch of toys. If um, your kids are anything like mine, everybody's toys are always so much cooler than yours, even if it's the same exact thing. If they're at someone else's house, it's just so much cooler. So this toy rotation idea just kind of keeps that same mentality, just something new and something fresh. It just keeps it exciting for them so they're not getting bored with their toys. We really like building toys that use a lot of imagination like Legos and magnet tiles and um, things that we can take outside like little plastic toys that they can play kitchen and whatever. 
Um, so we try and do lots of different toys and activities when we can throughout the summer. We're always going to parks and like splash pads and playgrounds and pools. Um, there's no beaches in Oklahoma, but there are lakes, so we do that. Um, and if all of this craziness has you as a mom kind of stressed out, there are different stress blends that you can make for yourself for essential oils. I have a mom blend that I use pretty much every day and just helps to calm and take the edge off some of my mom anxiety when the kids are fighting and screaming and the, the um, activity that you planned didn't work out and you're trying to do the fun things and it's just not going right. This uh, stress blend is a lifesaver sometimes. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that gave you some value and I hope you spend time with your family this summer enjoying the beautiful weather and just find those little pockets of fun and time with your kids. Even if you're still working, you can make summer fun for them. Um, doing different activities, just going outside for a walk is great. Just soak up as much time as you can outside. If you are outside, another tip is to take your shoes off and walk barefoot because the earth has natural grounding properties. So your body is a ball of energy, just like everything else. And sometimes we get um, our charges kind of get a little wacky and we get too many positive things. Looking at this device, looking at your um, TV or on your computer or whatever it is that you're doing, all of those are positive ions, positive charges coming at you and being absorbed by your body. And the earth has negative ions, so whenever you are outside, if you can, take off your shoes, get rid of that rubber insulator that's creating a barrier between your foot and the ground. And when you're walking on the earth, it's naturally energizing and it's actually been shown to help with sleep and all kinds of other things. That's called grounding. If you want more information on that, you can drop grounding in the comments and I can hook you up with that. So that's it. Enjoy your summer.